Hey everybody, it's Tuesday morning and it is time for another challenge accepted video. Today's video is going to be building the square panel doors. Last week we did it with the V-bit method and this week we're going to use the 3D carving in the corner method. Now this question was originally brought to me by David Buell and he was looking to do some doors that had a bead on the inside of them. So let's go ahead and get to work. Like last time, we're going to start with a 16 by 24 by 0.755 inch thick material, Z on the top and XY datum in the bottom left hand corner. From here, it's all about the offsets. We're going to start by drawing a rectangle. I'm just going to draw out the exact size of our part here. With that selected, we're going to offset inwards the standard two and a quarter inches. By selecting the new offset vector here, we're going to bring it in another half an inch. That's for our bead. And so there are all of our drawing here for the door. The next step is to lay out the bead. We're going to use a half an inch diameter circle, go into node mode and delete off these other three sides. By taking this upper left hand corner and mirroring it again to the left, we're going to get the shape of our router bit right here. With both of them selected, we're going to then join them by moving the endpoints. That's going to create the bead shape that we need for our 3D modeling portion of this drawing. We're going to select both of these interior vectors and use our extrude tool. When we click on this one, we're going to hit use selection. That's going to select these two lines. And then this is going to be our rail. By hitting apply here, you're going to notice in the 3D view, we have this beautiful set of beads that we need. Okay, we're going to click on close here. The last 3D model that we need to put in here is our zero plane. We're holding down shift on our keyboard and clicking on this create flat shape. It's going to bring up a zero plane. It's going to make the door look almost done. There's only a couple more tool paths we need to add. So let's go ahead and put in some boundary boxes for where we want to do our 3D carving. We're going to use our draw rectangle. I'm going to do a half inch by half inch. And I'm going to put one here. And I'm going to just center it right on that corner. Copy and paste it. And I'm going to move it down to this corner here. By selecting both of those now, we're just going to use our mirror tool and we're going to mirror horizontally, then vertically, then horizontally again. That's going to put one in each corner. Now we're ready to tool path. We're going to go over to the tool path side here. And we're going to start by grabbing our two original vectors. These two vectors, we're going to use a profile tool path. And we're going to set that to a quarter inch deep. That's going to be done with the plunge point round over bit. And we can see that one here. This is going to be bit from Magnate 7503. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and go ahead and machine this part. Once we've calculated the tool path, we can preview that and we can see how this looks beautiful up here in the corner, but our exterior corners have radiuses in them. And that's what we want to change. So to change that, we're going to select these top little squares, hold down our shift and grab the bottom ones as well. We're going to use a 3D finishing tool path for that one. And what I want to use is a 16th of an inch tapered ball nose cutter. Now this tool, we're going to put in tool number two, because that's going to be the second tool in our tool path. Okay. And let's go ahead and click on calculate. And if we zoom into this corner here, let's watch what happens. See how those sharp points happen now? We have beautiful door, corners are sharp, inside and exterior. The last thing we need to do is make this a flat panel door and machine out this center. So we're going to grab our interior square here. We're going to go to our pocket tool path, set it to a quarter of an inch. We're going to use two bits in this one. First is a half an inch end mill and the second is an eighth of an inch end mill. We're going to go ahead and calculate that. We can preview our tool path here and you can see that we've ended up with a beautiful flat panel door beads on the inside, sharp corners, both interior and exterior. If you have any questions about the video or how this was done, write it in the comment below. We'd love to hear your questions. Our number here is 800-279-4570. If you're interested in looking at the best multi-purpose CNC on the market. Thank you guys so much. Be kind to each other and we'll see you in the next one.